Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Goliath tutorial. Last time we've created a level and I've swapped it around quite a lot. I've made like three different levels because I'm never really satisfied um, with what I do to be honest. I'm not that great of an artist, but hey, um, this is actually why I'm making this video. So what we're going to do today is we are going to just fix our ring problem. So it's a simple problem. We're going to fix it by creating another layer of um, parent and children. And then I'm going to ask you guys to submit your level if you want to, of course. So the game has come to a point where all we need is actual good content and I'm not able to produce good content so I'm gonna ask you guys to actually help me out here. If you want to you can create your level, you can package them, I'll show you how to do that really really shortly and you can send it over to my email. Now this game is something that is uh, free and it, it's also ad free so there is no revenue so obviously there is no conflict about money because we're not generating any but still it's something you can be part of and um, if if you guys send enough levels, I'm gonna get rid of mine because it's really really bad. In about one month from now, so about end of April, we're gonna be actually finishing up the game so we're gonna put everything that you guys send and uh, we'll just put it in a whole big package then we'll do a tutorial on how to publish it to Google Play so we can actually have it out there. The game is already on Google Play but that's really the the old version, we don't have any content so it's a really boring one. Alright, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. So what we have right here is the rings. And those rings, they have a animation on them. So the animator, as you can tell, is right here. And uh, you have an animation for idle, and also an animation for complete ring. Our problem is when it is idle. Now I'm going to double click on idle ring right here, and it's not actually going to open it. So what I'll do is window, animation, and then we'll have a look at the idle ring animation those rotation right here are affecting the actual world orientation so every single ring is going to be on the same exact axis and we know that our game turns you know we know that we have uh, rings like this and um, even if they're like this they're still going to assume the exact same setting as you have here so say um, in this case as you can tell if we're just playing the animation you're going to go from a ring that was facing this direction and now it's actually back on the normal axis so what we need to do in this case is we need to change all the animation for um, local orientation that's the first thing we need to do now I don't know how to do that if there's like a simple option to do it I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think they actually modify it to assume local uh, rotation by default so if it actually is fixed by itself what we need to do still the second step to this is having a parent object so we're going to grab our ring and let's find it in the, um, the prefab I'm going to drop it anywhere in the world and what we'll do right here is we'll just fix the orientation real quick um, put that on 0, 0 and then we'll take that ring actually we'll, we'll create a new empty game object we'll call it ring container sorry about my phone and we'll actually put the ring well first reset the position and then we'll put the ring inside of the ring container now what needs to happen at this point is that we take our ring container and we drag it on top of our ring prefab just to overwrite everything else so we're going to end up with uh, something like this, which it's kind of weird if you ask me. Um, let's find out why it's like that. So we have all our rings right here. They are normal scale. And if I just take it, everything seems fine except the one that are actually uh, on a different rotation. So what I feel like doing is actually getting rid of that uh, bad data, or I could just put the scale back on the one so I have some glitches on my side. I'm not sure if you're going to get the same exact glitches as I am getting. But I'm just going to put the, all the ring back on one. Okay, so they end up looking like this. I think they're good looking. Um, I'm going to open up the animation window again and try to play the animation inside of it now. See if it is actually fixed. So they have a orientation, rotation I mean. And here you go. That's all we needed to do. So we just needed to add another layer of um, object on top of that because this is modifying the local rotation and local rotation was going to assume the world's rotation now in this case it's assuming the uh, the parent rotation so if you are going to create some kind of curve ring or you know put it in different orientation than um, this one then you need to apply the orientation to your parent object and the ring inside of it stays on zero 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 so really important that you take the parent and you rotate the parent around. Having that said, we fix our big glitch right here. That's the only glitch we had left, um, I believe. 
Now what we're going to be doing is I'll quickly show you how to export a level. So basically when I've made this level there is only really two things. Um, well first there is the scene actually there's more than two things that I think about it. So there is the scene um, there is also the mesh of the map so that's the whole thing. You could be having a multiple mesh level that it doesn't really matter as long as you put everything into one FBX in the end. So you can have multiple objects inside your FBX. If you're able to actually just take all of these and create a package out of it. So to create a package you go under game object, actually you go under asset export package, you just take everything you need. So in my case if I was to export mine, I would export the um, map palette which is you know the color and the UV. Uh, well basically just the material. I also need the texture, so the texture is right here, map palette. The FBX, here it is, I don't need the plane. So I need these things basically. And you could also export the scene or I'll make one myself because I have to just match all the number. So that's pretty much it, that's how you would actually import your level. So let me do it quickly, simply like this. So the material, the texture, the FBX file, or in this case this one is a .max file, don't, don't do that, send me FBX. Or if you have 3ds Max, I guess I can do it, but uh, I'm using a very old version of 3ds Max, so it would, be it would be better if you actually exported it as FBX. And finally the scene as well. Now you export this, you put that anywhere you want, so I'll just do map 0 here. And on your desktop, I'm gonna have a nice little Unity package like this. And on my end, once I have the package, all I have to do really is just drag and drop in here, click import, and I'll have the level in the game. So it would be really cool if you guys could send over your level. Of course, I'm going to have some kind of intro animation whenever you get into a level that can have your name and anything that you really want me to type in there. Just make sure you include it. I'll of course include your name by default. Um, if you don't specify the name, I'll use the one on YouTube or the one on Facebook, depending on where you help me and you send this, you can send your level over to my email which is going to appear in the description below. It's going to be the first thing in the description below. So if you guys want to help me out, uh, make this game good looking. It's actually the first time I'm calling out for like public help to making art because I really suck at it. <laughs> um, that would be amazing. Other than that, we're going to be taking a break for this tutorial until we have enough content and then we'll go ahead and finish it up by publishing it on the Google Play. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you enjoyed the whole series thus far, and I will see you really soon. Cheers.